If you'd been here in February, you would have just seen axles and iron, uh, T iron out on the ground. It takes about two months to do the sub part of the float. Once the engine is put together, once the iron rod is put together and all the parts, we have welders that come in to do all of the meticulous um, rod work. And they are true artists. If you look as you look, everything that's supposed to be an animal looks like an animal. They do that. Once that's done, we screen it with regular screen for a window. Once that process is done, we, do it, we spray it with a machine called cocooning. And that fills in the little holes. Once that's done, we get to paint it. And it's kind of like a paint by numbers. We paint for colors. And when that is done, I sit down and we figure out what flowers are going where and what seeds and how we're going to put it all together. While planning for each parade begins two weeks after the last one, the decorating doesn't start until the day after Christmas. We started on the 26th. There was not one thing except dust on this float the morning of the 26th. To finish these enormous floats by New Year's Day, the float builders rely on the efforts of over 600 volunteers. This is the Miracle Grow float, so we have volunteers from Miracle Grow. We have volunteers from Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, uh, schools that have come in um, for service hours and all that kind of stuff. People that just have been doing it over and over again for years and years come over and they do it too. Kaiser employees actually ground 2,000 pounds of rice and sifted them. I had two-year-olds sifting for the float. They came in and spent the day with us and did all the sifting to get it ready for this. While millions of viewers catch the parade on television each year, the float builders will be the first to tell you that their splendor cannot be captured by a camera. Well, first of all, most people don't realize how big they are. That when I have people come from other countries or other states, their first impression is it doesn't realize how big it is. And then the colors, the colors and the smell of the coconut. Everybody wants to go, can I eat this coconut? I said, no, I keep trying, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> but they miss the smell and the, the vibrant colors that just are 3D. You just have no idea unless you see it up close what exactly is there. And the people in the morning on, on the parade route that come by and see all of these floats, they come by and look at them and they can't believe all of the stuff that's on there. And they, they go through and they say, is that that? <laughs> what is that? Once they've come out the first time, they will want to come back and see it again. This is my 28th year and I'm still just amazed at how much enjoyment people get out of it. They'll just go, oh, it's so beautiful. And I'm thinking, wow, I'm so tired of it. <laughs> but there, And then they, they lift my spirit by saying, this is awesome. So it really, just the thrill of watching it go down the road. For the Badger Sports Report, I'm Ashley Hearn.